Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Valhalla Vanguard in Aurora Forex. And in previous episode, well, first of all, we did get the Alliance and we now know the location of... Uh... Actually, I'm not sure if we... No, we can't see them here, but if we go to Ladur, we know that at least our allies have a lot of different ships there. A lot of different fleets. I don't know much about them, but I know that they're there. Actually, let me have a look at Ladura real quick. Have they mined out any of the resources? They are running low, that's for sure. At least on Boronite and some other resources. I don't know about anything else there. Planet suitability is actually slightly different. It does have a fairly high surface temperature, actually. And some greenhouse gases. Well, actually, no, not really greenhouse gases. Interesting. Right, but let's go back to... Sjothen. So we got Operator going back to... Oh, right, that's the one bringing in the automated mines. It just brought in the first one, I believe. Right, and I do believe in Jin we do have... Oh, right, yeah, this was the place with the jump gate over there in place. And we're also doing some... Still about half a dozen places to survey. Technically eight, but we're already doing one of them. But, we'll see. Now, it was still one month away from getting the new... Or starting on working on new jump drive efficiency. Or new jump drives, rather. Okay, uh, the whaler has completed orders in Shumir, so that means that the whaler fleet is even bigger. So we have a look at task force. If we have a look at the... Well, is Humira does this? No, it doesn't actually open that. Never mind. I was kind of hoping it would, but we got 30 harvesters in that fleet already. My god. That's about a few. Going real quick around. Well, I'm trying to be quick here, but I'm really not. But yeah, we've still got 17 years. Roughly speaking, we still don't have all the ships that we require, or all the sh shipyards, so this might be a disaster. But we will see. Factory stored. Okay, that was actually beyond repair. We got another fisherman in the harvest fleet. Don't think I need to get anything else though. Let's actually have a quick look. Uh, are still got over 100,000 crewmen and junior officers, so we're not really having a shortage there either. That's good. And we've got three naval academies here, means 15 graduates a year. It's not too bad. We haven't got an, another missile research. Guy though, which is a bit of a shame. Right, and in... Okay, so that has the one over there. This one is mining a fair bit. We will be bringing at least one more miner into this place. Which means that this place will go through the minerals a fair bit quicker. But that's fine. We do want to get the minerals as quickly as possible. To be able to make sure that our industries can work. Just have we complete it on Snotra, still nothing new found. I'm not really surprised. Honestly, I'm not sure if we really need to have a team out right now, so I'll just disband that. We haven't really found all that... Hmm, well actually... What was one of the new places? Bela? I believe. Yeah, this place might be a good idea to survey at least. 
going to quickly have a look at the stuff here. So it is actually the terrestrial planet. Oh. Yeah, we'll certainly add a colony there. Do the survey. So this place has a tiny bit of minerals, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. And the Astro has some minerals. Put in a colony there. Right, and then we can send in the team, at least to the planet first. So Bela, uh, we don't need to have the door open. Probably not even the moon in. So over here we'll send in the team. Oh, unassigned only. There we go. Now if we get these... I mean, honestly, it's not that terrible accessibility. Just the important resources are not very good. Although Verkassium is a nice thing, and Boronite also a nice thing to a degree. Not really using all that much of them right now, but maybe at some point. We haven't found another jump point over here, though. Ah, oh, troop transport has completed orders. Excellent, let me have a look. Have you actually refueled? No, you have not. Well, what I think I'll do is I'll send you to the A1, load one of the construction brigades. Then go all the way to Mimir again. Unload ground units. Oh, right. Add that move. And then back through Alta, go to Nostra. We probably refuel from the fleet there. Then go back to Valhalla. And then we'll rethink what we'll do. But that should keep it busy for a little while again. That does mean that we have two more units in Mimir, don't we? Yeah, we've got two garrisons and the four construction brigades. Which means that the police strength is rather large. A lot higher than in Njord, for example. I mean, Njord, it's not bad. Oh. Not sure what the status point means exactly. This Imperial population there. Okay, so we have gotten the maintenance facility ship size up again here.
Now there's a way to fix that, of course. Just making sure that we move to the asteroid again. We can take a five second increment or something. Have a look at now, it should be higher. Yes, it really is. Okay, so this is almost at the limit what they can produce with just one mass driver, but that's fine. Uh, it's fine, and they have that's a lot of corundium actually, and a fair bit of galaxite, a lot of uranium, and uh, some carbonite as well. But this is only a good place to mine with the asteroid miners. Right, so we got 70 mines over here, so it's 8,000 minerals per year. Plus what we get from the other places, so it produces about 14, almost 15,000 tons of minerals per year. That's pretty good. At some point we're going to have to set up a ship that goes in and just picks up the resources from here. Or from various systems. That is good. Also, let's have a quick look at Moonin. I don't think we've... Yeah, we've got 2,000 tons of minerals there. It's not huge. It's not huge, but it does produce a little bit at least. So that's something that we do need to go there every now and then to pick up the minerals. And when are we getting more industry... Right, so it's still the asteroid mining modules. That's not not all that far away, though. If we have a look at the... That's going to be... In less than 10 days. The... Jump drive efficiency. And after that's done, we'll redesign or design the new jump drivers. And then start implementing the new ships with them. Still having some mineral shortage, but it's not too bad. It's our completed orders. Let's have a look. Where is it? Right, I mean, yeah, it is here. Uh, there is something in the harvester fleet, so let's have a look. Task 1. You do have plenty of fuel. Task group. Hmm. I'm thinking, where should we take it? If it's a... Uh... Yeah, it is another fisherman. If I had to move there, we could technically... Hmm. There's nothing in Sjofen. I know that there's some asteroids still in Alta that we could increase the mining speed at. There's nothing to mine in Humir with the asteroid miners, which is a bit of a shame, really. Hmm. If we take another miner to the Valskjall, that might flip it over the limit, but at the same time, if it starts piling up a tiny bit of extra, it's not really that bad. And we can just get another asteroid mining module, or not asteroid mining module, uh, mass driver there and that should be fine. But yes, we'll actually take it to Valaskel. So, we will go to the fishing fleet, move to really extractor ships, and then move back. Actually, yeah, we'll go Back to Humir, then we'll grab one of the whalers from here and take it to Nostrand. Move to all your sack ships and then go back to Valhalla. That should be enough. And now we should be getting the at least some of the technology here, I believe. Yep. Right, so we got the jump drive efficiency, we got the jump squadron size 4 that we started, and then we got the ghost cannon, the small one, or the newer version. Now we can't really design the new turret yet, but if we add in the extra turret from the missile launcher, I mean the missile launcher is very important to be fair. At the same time I think... Up Getting the upgrade for Athian is probably a good idea as well. So we'll add in the extra lab there. I mean, we should be getting another one soon. 
<laughs> we should be getting one actually next turn. So we're going to add that back to the missile research. Still working on the sensor sensitivities and such, which is going to take a while. Really should improve the speed on that as well. I'm guessing we still haven't gotten any... No, really, not really. Any nice new ones, but now we can technically redesign at least some of the jump engines with efficiency 8. So if we go across one, that is going to be for the spikes still. It's going to have to be 25 whole size. But it's uh, if we have a look at the old one, that was 30 something. 34, so it's saving us a fair bit of whole size. We're not going to increase the radius or anything like that there. Now, I don't remember... Where exactly do I have the names? I'm closing this real quick. I mean, for example, Atheon, so I can get the parts view. Okay, so I added the T in front. So there's going to be three, no, tier 3 jump driver. It's going to be exactly 10,000 tons. We'll do jump driver. Then... We don't have the... We do have actually the increased range already, but we're getting the squadron size currently. Which, honestly, I don't think it's going to take it very much in terms of time. We can check that. It's going to be done in October, okay. So we can design that one then. But we could also design the commercial jump drive. Which would be, again, 50,000 tons. Or 51,000 tons. But the size is actually... Again, a fair bit smaller than the previous one. I mean, it did increase the efficiency quite nicely. We'll pull this, adding the T3 there, and create that. So we can select this one. I'm assuming that there's not that. Okay, there's the reactor power boost in there queued up. But nothing else for the power and propulsion researchers, so we'll start working on this stuff. Get okay, military jump drive first. And queue that up. Then queue that one up. I mean, the even increased uh, jump radius would probably be a terrible idea, quite frankly. Two hundred and fifty. That would be. Um, I don't know. Then we would still be able to go through that range fairly quickly. Luckily, the pressure ships do have some shielding, but probably not enough. Let's be honest here. But I'll think about that later. At least we got the efficiency up now, and yeah, I suppose we'll go with that for the time being. Oh, did we? Oh, right, that went six hours ahead earlier. Just uh, even up the days a little bit again. I'm not going to worry about the minutes right now. So only one minute would be way too much trouble getting through all of that. I might do that between the episodes there. Right, so the Fraser 1, is that one of the colony ships, or is that taking the... Let's actually have a look. No, it's the one that took more... What are they called? Automated mines to Valaskel. Now, to be fair, we did start moving... Quite a bit of our automated mines away from Valhalla. Which, to be fair, is fine. I'm not sure if we really have a need for these uh, 
freighters right now. We do have some cargo. No, actually we don't. These were not the ones that did that. I'll let them stay at Valhalla for a while. Let's get a bit of a shore leave going on or something like that. Okay, we finally got the inactive lab. So let's put in the map to the missile research. Let's get that done a little bit sooner. So we're waiting for the asteroid mining modules to be finished. Also, the research lab is not that far away from being completed. Or the final one. Which is uh, slightly interesting, actually. Okay, the Premier A1 is still having a bit of a... Oh! Oh! Slept near, we found a gas giant. Not a huge amount of Sorin, but good accessibility. Problem is that we know that they have a tracking station somewhere around here. Have we started... We have started surveying the jump point. We haven't actually found any yet. Which is odd. Oh my goodness. We got ourselves a terraforming station in Mimir. Now the worker shortage is starting to be quite a problem. So the annual production would be quite terrible. But I will start adding in some oxygen there. Then we'll need to, once we have the required oxygen, the point, technically 0 0.05 is enough, technically. Yeah, we'll do that. Because it was, it's going to be just enough to keep the oxygen levels high. At the same time, technically, if we add in a tiny bit more, it might also increase the temperature a little bit. I mean, it will increase the atmospheric pressure to some degree. But we'll see about that. We'll start working on that at least a tiny bit. And Njord is still pretty far away. Just making sure... No, it was only one terraforming station. It's uh, working on a lot smaller speed. About 50 speed. Which would track with the efficiency modifier there. Which is mostly due to the fact that we don't have the workers for most things. But that is quite nice. Ah, Freyja has completed orders. Right, so I was about to let those rest for the time being. We don't really have many things that we can transfer right now. I mean, technically we could maybe transfer some more in infrastructure or something like that, but at the same time, let me just check. Those were the newer design freighters, were they not? Actually, they are slightly older. Not gonna scrap these, though. They are much better than the freighter ones. Or Knar one freighters. Which we do still have some. We'll probably use them to replace these two at some point. Right, so when do we get the colony ship? Because that is certainly something that we need desperately. Colony ship is going to be done in June next year. So about a year away. In October we're going to get two of the Spike 2s. Which is not too bad. I'm going to get a lot of whalers here. Sooner or later. Right. Just quickly going through these. And then we're going to take another 5 day increment. I mean, I could take them without bothering the evening of the day, but it's just how I roll. Okay, okay uh, a fighter factory in Mimir. Nice. 
And there's still probably about 440 installations left. Maybe a bit more actually. We're having the mineral shortage on the Humir A1. But we are unfortunately out of time for this episode, so what I'll probably do in between the episodes here is I'll let the time pass a little bit so that we'll either get the turret tracking speed. Uh, no, it's not going to be the next research, but the okay, thermal signature and squadron size. I'll probably jump ahead a little bit to get at least some of the research done. Or if something interesting happens, because currently we're just waiting. I don't think that's particularly interesting to watch. But I will make sure that I'll bring you back if something interesting happens. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please do like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.